OK, if you're using something like HostGator, then you'll have a one-click install for WordPress, and HostGator and quite a lot of other control panel ones use a thing called Fantastico Deluxe. So all we do is click on that, and you get the Fantastico installation screen. Down the left, a list of all sorts of different ones that all sorts of different programs you can install using it, and the one you're after is WordPress. Now I've installed several, so I'm going to pause the thing while I click on that and get it to a screen that I'm happy to show you, because it's got lots and lots of domains on it. So I'm just going to click pause, and the bit I didn't show you there is a screen in between where it says new installation. I clicked that. Then you get a drop-down list of different domains. Now as I said, I've got so many different domains. Rather than showing you a huge great list and me grey them out, I've just selected one. Normally you'd leave install in directory blank, but because I'm going to be um, bear with me <laughs> because I've already got a WordPress domain in this one, I'm going to ask it to install in the demo directory. Admin username, as I said before, you shouldn't use one that's called admin. So I've just typed in my username there, <coughs> and then I've copied and pasted a very random password from the random password generator. Again, admin nickname, whatever you're going to use, and then it asks you for your email address, which I'm not going to show you, and also off screen it asks you for the site name, you can change that later and the description you can change later. Then there's a little button that says install WordPress. And basically that goes off to that screen and you then click on finish installation. As you can see it's done it into a demo thing because I'm not going to keep this. Finish installation <coughs> basically it's done everything. So we can then go to that link and see the Again, that won't be the right thing, so do that. And that's another thing you're going to see quite regularly if you use the automatic install. Let's uh, move that screen slightly. Lots of updates. What this is, is that Fantastico and other installation routines don't keep everything up to date, but that's fine. Just click on the updates thing. Select everything, update plugins, it'll go ahead and do that. Return to WordPress updates, themes, tick everything, update themes. And when you've done that, you may or may not have to go through this. It depends when you're doing it, how up to date your host's version of Fantastico is. And then the WordPress update, you've got nothing in there, so you don't need to worry about the bit that says take a backup. You're supposed to read that, I tend not to, but I will show you about that again in one of the plugins I do that kind of gets over that. So update now. And that gives a fresh installation of WordPress. Click in the site. We've got a demo site, hello world, and a few other posts. So that's it, that's as easy as as easy as it gets with installing WordPress. Then you have to configure it, and we'll come on to that in the next video.